people. Happy birthday, son. See, don't, don't mess up my video with saying happy birthday. Didn't nobody tell you to say that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't be doing that here. But she's going to see it, so. Well, you get out the video if you want to act like <laughs> She said you. Get out the video. She's going to see it. That's not her video. That's what's not, that's what's the video. problem with what we saying that to her friend? Huh? Ladies and gentlemen. Hey everybody, I just had to leave this part in here because Rhonda is so crazy. But welcome to my channel, Lady T's Things That Bling and DIYs. So today we're going to be making my version of the Diva Lamp. And because I was not able to find the Diva Lamps at the Dollar Tree, I improvised by using a hand soap dispenser from Dollar General. Now if you want to see how it turned out, stay tuned to the end. And as you can see here, I'm using... Um, some inspiration from Will's DIYs just to show me how to make the lampshades and if you haven't visited his page you're missing a treat so go check out Will on his DIY page he actually does some awesome beautiful work so I was taking my inspiration from him doing um, the homemade lampshade as you can see the little wires that I have I got them from the wreaths, uh, wreath forms from um, Dollar Tree that was a small one and I just cut them into three pieces uh, and I believe that's the Lord next to the large, next to the largest ring so I was using that um, because I didn't have any um, of the other forms like Will had so the embroidery form so I had to improvise which I don't have a problem with because when you have to improvise that shows you what skills you actually do have so you can see Rhonda there, she's separating the gems that I, I was going to use, the iridescent gems. But after some thought, I decided it wasn't going to look right, so I didn't do it. <laughs> there you have a picture of me in my younger days. And um, I chose that picture because there are so many people doing the diva um, lamps, and they're all using the same pictures. I just want it to be different. Like, sometimes I can't take it when everything is always the same. Plus, doing it this way helps me to get outside of my comfort zone and really realize what kind of skills I do have. So, you know, it was cool. And the lady did actually um, send me uh, the pictures that I could use, and I just really didn't, um, I just didn't want to use the same pictures. That's all. So that is the um, hand soap dispenser that I got from Dollar General, and it was $3. And um, as you can see, I was uh, cutting up what I'm going to use for my diva's hair. It kind of looks like a hat the way I did it, but anyway. I want to give a shout out to Tracy Simmons, Tracy Gordon, um, on YouTube and on Facebook. She is the inspiration for doing this hair this way. And, um, listen, she is really good. If you haven't seen her yet on YouTube, you should go check her out. And I really don't mind shouting out people and people going to their pages. But she's, done, she's doing really good work. And, um, her name is Tracy Simmons Gordon. Tracy Simmons Gordon. And you can find her on YouTube, Tracy Simmons Gordon. I've already subscribed, and I suggest you go over there and subscribe, too. This part that I'm doing right now, I got this from Tracy. She did cut out her form this way, so I did get this from her. Thank you, Tracy. And Rhonda is here trying to help me cut because I can't cut straight lines. But, baby, me and her go at it all the time. I don't know why she keep messing with me. But I had to draw a line so that I could make sure that the... Uh, form was straight because I, I, I really I can't do straight like I try so hard and it just doesn't work out for me so I have to do whatever I can do to make sure that you know it's as straight as I can get it she bought me a cup of lemonade a glass of lemonade I was so thankful for that because I've been having a really bad lupus flare my mouth's been super super dry so she bought me some lemonade I appreciate her So, the original stick that you see, I guess you can see it in the lampshade. I couldn't use that because it was too short. But, um, I have a stick that I had here. And I just pulled it out from my junk pile and got it. And I was going to use some zebra um, stripes on here. But, 
me and Rhonda were going back and forth about it, and I just decided to go ahead and paint it. Now, what I would advise you to do, if you attempt to do a lampshade um, similar to this, please, um, before you um, put the form inside of it, just go ahead and paint the whole thing on both sides. Because I didn't do that, and I wish I had done that, but I didn't. So, save yourself some trouble. And I was only able to paint down to a certain level, but you can't really see it. But I would just advise you to paint the styrofoam in there as well as the cardboard that you or whatever you're using. Just go ahead and paint it all. So what I did with, with the paint, I used black paint and I put a whole lot of silver fine glitter in it that I got from Walmart. And then I just put it on there. And then I put the Mod Podge, Mod Podge on there. And um, I put glitter also in the Mod Podge because I wanted to make sure it was shiny. My name's Lady T sings that bling. So I had the bling, right? So I put the Mod Podge on there um, with the glitter in it. And here I am. I'm putting my picture on here. That is me from several years ago. And when you do it like this, you put the Mod Podge on there. You have to make sure that you um, press the wrinkles out of it. Because if you don't, you're really going to have wrinkles all over the face. You don't want that. I mean, I'm 56, but I still don't want to have wrinkles on my face. You know what I mean? So, um, as you can see, inside of the... Um, shade I didn't paint the styrofoam right there but at the end I did and I don't know if I got that footage because as of now I only get 15 minutes so I had to make sure that I got through doing the lamp so as you can see I cut out the circle and then I got all of the um hair <laughs> together and did it the way Tracy Simmons Gordon does it and now I'm trying to put this stick on here because the other one that I had just wasn't working it was too thin and it was too short so I decided to use that here I am drawing in my eye my eyeliner and my lipstick trying to make it more pronounced so that you can see it and then I decided to put a flower I put a couple of flowers but as individuals you know you can do it any way you want to this is kind of looking more like a hot a hat to me than um a than hair and you know those hats they wear over in uh england for tea time that's what it kind of looked like i forgot what they call those hats but anyway so here i decided to paint the base i decided because it just wasn't jiving with me leaving it clear so i decided to paint it and i did the same thing i poured all this glitter inside of it and you'll see it's sparkling um because i like it when it sparkles and i was just going back and forth back and forth back and forth and i decided you know what that's just what I'm going to do. Now, it's up to you. You might not even find a base like this. You might find something else to use as your base. But I just wanted it to be cohesive and just paint it black. Because that clear was just not doing it for me. So, I went all the way up to the um, top of the bottle. The hand soap bottle. And I made sure I painted all of that. Now, I still didn't like the finished look here. So, I decided I wanted to put some trim around there. And I was trying everything. I didn't mean to leave this footage on there. But I was trying everything just to see what I could do to make it look more finished. Because it just wasn't finished to me. So, here I am coloring my shirt in. And I, I just really thought I left this footage out. But I guess it's okay. I'm, I'm filling in my shirt. Because you can see those white spots. And I didn't feel like all of that. And then later on I go in with the glitter. As you'll see if I put the footage in there. That I just went on ahead and glittered my shirt. Some may like it and some may not, but I just did it just to give myself a finished look. I could have left it just like that, but I'm all about the bling, and y'all know this. <laughs> so, it was funny because Rhonda asked me, how did you get her lips, how did you get your lips red? And I was like, uh, I colored it in wood marker. Because on the original picture, I do not have lipstick on. And so, I like, this is one of my favorite um, rows of bling. I just like it a lot. And then I get sick of looking at silver all the time. Y'all, that's the light that I put on. I put the light in her hair. And I don't even think I turned it on. But I have lights in her hair or her head or whatever you want to call it. That was the battery pack, but I stick it inside so it's really inconspicuous. So I wanted to put this uh, bling wrap around it because, again, I didn't feel like it was completed. So I had to do something else. And some people might say, oh, that's a little bit too much. Or they, you should have put up, you know, should have left it like it was. 
to each his own. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so some may like it and some may not. And then, of course, I couldn't do the bottom without doing the top, so ciao. I like it on my own there sometimes, yes. So actually, I finished this this morning. I, that's why you don't see Rhonda in the picture because I was I started it yesterday, but um, when she left, I just stopped doing it because I didn't feel like doing it anymore. Now you probably can see on the inside of the um, shade right there where I actually covered the styrofoam black, but I still needed to get down in there to cover it up that white. So you really don't want anybody to see that. So this is my very first attempt at making a lamp. And I'm going to give a shout out to Will's DIY. And a shout out to um, Tracy Gordon. Because they both inspired me as far as different parts of this thing. So Tracy Simmons Gordon, thank you so much. And Will's DIY, thank you so much. I appreciate you both more than you know. So at the bottom of the base, I put some bling down there because I just didn't want to leave it plain. And you might not be able to see the design that's on the base, but I can see it. I hope you guys can see it. You probably will be able to see it because it's a real defined design. But I just couldn't leave it clear. It just wasn't cohesive. And if I try this again, I'll, I'll do it a little bit better because I'll be more... Um, comfortable with trying to measure and cut and all that. Yesterday, I just wasn't having it. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make another lamp, but I'm going to do it with um... Oh, I be having rainfall. Um... I can't think of the name of it right now, but I'm going to try it. And I'll see if I decide to make a, a video of it. Here I am putting the bling onto my shirt. And I kind of wish I would have left it alone, but I still like it because <laughs> we needed to see the bling, boo. We needed to see the bling. So I'm using Mod Podge. And for those of you who like to say Mod Podge, this is for you. I'm using Mod Podge. Psych. Mod Podge. Mod Podge. <laughs> I know, I'm a little goofy, but it's okay. So I'm putting it on there. I don't know how old I was in this picture. I think I was in my late 40s. Or earlier 50s I can't remember but I was much slimmer than I am now and I just love that picture I see some things that I can add to this um, but this is my first time doing it so I think I did pretty good I think I did pretty good tell me how you feel about it leave a comment please like if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing to my channel as you can see I do some work and it'd be off the cuff <laughs> So, I like to do DIYs, and I appreciate you for watching. Please share this with your friends and your family if you like what you see. Supporter sisters, I'm trying to get to 1,000 plus subscribers, and we're almost there. I appreciate every subscriber. Thank you for your comments, and thank you for your love. Hope you enjoyed this video. All right, God bless, and happy Valentine's Day. Lady T, signing out.